This article is from Seth Taylor of the Post and Courier, and it is about a project that is being called or a development plan that's being called the Darlington Renaissance. And this is really exciting. This is something I've thought about many times over recent years because Florence has seen a lot of revitalization and growth over recent years, much of which we talked about at length on this channel. And we continue to look at a lot of the different things that are happening in terms of growth and development in Florence. And we've seen a lot of development just up the road in Hartsville as well, but not really as much in Darlington. And I've wondered a lot about that. And so for those of y'all that may not know out there across the country, Darlington, South Carolina is just about a 15 minute drive from Florence. Our counties border one another. And of course, Darlington, South Carolina is most notably known for the Darlington Raceway, uh, which has two stops on the NASCAR circuit annually. And we do plan to take you to this year's race in September. That is on the agenda. So hopefully it works out, get you guys some content from the race, show you what that's all about. But just to be blunt about it, Darlington leaves a lot to be desired as a whole. And it would be great if Darlington was able to capitalize on some of the income that comes into the city and to get some projects going that kind of mirrored in a way a lot of what we've seen going in Florence. And this is a really encouraging article, so I'm going to read some of it for you. And so you can look right at the title. You know, I'm not the only one saying these type of things. Florence's growth left Darlington behind. Now they have a plan to catch up. So that's literally the spin on the article. But this is really interesting. So let's just read through some of the key points on this and just talk about it for a second. And you can see there the drive between Florence and Darlington is just 15 minutes, but you'd never know it. Few people in Florence find a reason to make the trip. Darlington has a plan to fix that. And so it says Florence's population has increased. Darlington's has declined. We have videos on the channel talking about Florence's population increase, but we haven't talked a lot about Darlington. So I, I do like this opportunity to have this discussion. So check this out. In a newly developed master plan dubbed Darlington's Renaissance, the city lays out a vision of small communities centered on a bustling downtown, vibrant historic neighborhoods, new affordable houses, and an extensive park system. So that's kind of the scope of what they are discussing here. So let's say that again, a bustling downtown, vibrant historic neighborhoods, new affordable homes, and an extensive park system. To achieve that, the city has identified several goals, including redesigning downtown, building new parks and revamping its zoning rules. So this will be a really key part of this initiative right here. Officials hope the plan will maintain a distinct identity for Darlington while making way for growth from surrounding cities. And this is important because much like we just talked about in a recent video with all the growth of Myrtle Beach, making Florence actually attractive because you get the proximity to Myrtle Beach, offering a lot of the advantages of Myrtle Beach without dealing with the hustle and bustle and all the different things and you know nuance of Myrtle Beach, this could be a similar concept for people that want a little bit more land, a little bit more acreage. Darlington could start to offer a lot of attractiveness as this type of plan goes into play and starts to get developed over coming years as an alternative to moving to Florence because it's only a 15 minute drive. And if Darlington has a lot to offer in and of itself, you could get a lot of the benefits of being in Darlington without some of the drawback of being in a more populated area that Florence would be in comparison. And so we see the director for economic development, Mary Morgan Smith, in terms of long range planning, is very confident that these things can be done. Now, if you read through the article, these are this is just a plan or a vision. So there's a lot that would have to happen over the coming years in terms of funding where the city is going to have to sign off on a lot of these things. But the foundation for these plans is being laid. And it goes on to talk a little bit about just how with the growth of Florence, a lot of that growth is starting to bleed over into Darlington anyways, which is true. And so LaVon Rambo, who's a member of the Darlington Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, but it says that Rambo was one of more than 100 people who attended the public meetings to discuss the Darlington Renaissance Master Plan. So there's a consultant mentioned here, Bill Eubanks, who is director of planning and landscape architecture at the Atlanta-based firm Greenberg Faro. So there's a lot of bodies and minds involved in this. There's a lot of collaborative effort going on, even to the extent of, like it said earlier, and it talks about a little bit more in depth in the article, a little bit about revamping the zoning in, in Darlington and specifically geared towards maintaining 
the character of Darlington, not so much trying to duplicate what's going on in Florence, but to basically just what the word says, revitalize uh, what they already have and just bring new life to what Darlington already is instead of trying to change it, which I personally love that idea because I think that the people that are going to want to move to Darlington and see the value there, Darlington doesn't need to start to take on a, a metropolitan feel to it. It's good for it to remain true to what Darlington is. Florence is, is experiencing a lot of that growth and development to bring more of that city life that people may look for. And so you have this great alternative in Darlington that's just right next door. So to me, to me, that makes a ton of sense. And I personally, not just as a local realtor, but as a native to Florence, am really excited about reading and hearing all of this. So again, the emphasis seems to be revitalizing the downtown area, the square right there in downtown Darlington, which I would imagine that that portion probably would mimic a lot of what we've seen in Florence. I think it's a tremendous idea. It's like it says in the article, there's a bunch of empty business fronts down there to fill them with places that people want to go is going to be huge because a lot of us in Florence, you'll probably see videos on this channel that we'll be going out to places over there because we want to. So, I mean, it, it it's beneficial for everybody. And then the investment in the neighborhoods that exist, the development of new housing developments out there, and all of that being orchestrated behind a revamping of the zoning rules in Darlington is tremendous. So I'm extremely excited about this. I think that viewers of this channel, no matter what your motive is in being a viewer of this channel, can find value in hearing that this is happening and find something to get excited about, about the potential of the things that are being talked about for Darlington. So as always, the link to this article will be down in the description of the video. I encourage you to go read it. There's a lot of information in there that we didn't cover in the video. You can get a fuller understanding of what's going on with that by reading the article. If you enjoyed this content, please give a like to the video. It helps us out a ton. We really appreciate it. And subscribe for future content as we try to put out at least a couple of videos a week covering all things having to do with our area and real estate in our area. And with that being said, if you want to learn how any of this may be impacting your property in Darlington, or if you're interested in looking at property in Darlington to move into or purchase, all of our contact information is down in the description, my information and our office information. And we'd be happy to set up a complimentary consultation with you today. And so with that being said, we look forward to hearing from y'all. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.